Danny was puzzled. Every day he noticed that the bus driver, Tracy, kept a little girl on the bus longer than the other kids. Determined to uncover the reason, he decided to follow her home. What he discovered was a heart-wrenching story of a father, a daughter, and an unexpected bond that changed their lives forever. But hey, before we dive into the story, do yourself a favor and pause the video right now. Go hit that like button and let's see if we can make this video reach 1,000 likes. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to your favorite story channel. Also make sure to ring the notification bell so you never miss out on the latest and weirdest stories. Trust us, you won't want to miss what's coming your way. Now sit back, relax, and prepare to be amazed as we take you on an unforgettable ride. Don't forget to engage with us in the comments below. We love hearing from you. Without further ado, let's dive right in. Philip Perry lived a quiet life in Utah with his 11-year-old daughter, Isabella. Each day, Philip left early for work, trusting Isabella to get ready and board the school bus on her own. Life had thrown them many challenges, especially after the loss of Isabella's mother, Patricia, to cancer when Isabella was just nine. Patricia's death had a profound impact on both Philip and Isabella. Philip was devastated, but determined to provide for his daughter. Isabella, though young, had to grow up quickly. She took on the responsibility of getting herself ready for school each morning. For a while, things seemed to be going well, but then the late slips from school began to appear. Philip didn't think much of the first late slip, but when Isabella received a second and third warning within two weeks, his concern grew. He sat her down one evening to discuss it, but Isabella clammed up, changing the subject. She didn't want to burden her father with the truth, sensing that he was already struggling. Determined to find out what was happening, Philip decided to leave work early one day. He parked near the school and watched as Isabella got on the bus right on time. He followed the bus all the way home, noticing that while other children were dropped off quickly, Isabella remained on the bus until the very end. His suspicion deepened, prompting him to confront Isabella once again. That evening, Philip gently questioned his daughter about the bus driver. Isabella's eyes widened with surprise, and she finally opened up. She explained that the bus driver, Tracy, had been keeping her on the bus because of her hair. After Patricia's death, Isabella's long hair had become difficult to manage. Philip, despite his best efforts, struggled to help. He even resorted to shaving Isabella's hair once, which left her angry and feeling like a boy. Philip was aware of the problem but didn't know how to solve it. He had tried cutting her hair shorter to make it easier to manage, but it quickly became matted and unkempt again. This was when Tracy stepped in. Tracy Dean, the bus driver, loved children and had noticed Isabella's struggle with her hair. She decided to help. Tracy would keep Isabella on the bus after all the other kids had left and take out a hairstyling kit from her bag. She would spend a few minutes each morning untangling and braiding Isabella's hair, turning a chaotic mess into neat French braids. It took a week of these morning sessions for Tracy to fully untangle Isabella's hair. During this time, Tracy and Isabella formed a bond. Tracy, a cancer survivor herself, shared her story with Isabella. She empathized deeply with the young girl, having faced similar struggles. Tracy's kindness extended beyond just hairstyling. She taught Isabella how to care for her hair, boosting her confidence. Philip was astonished when he learned about Tracy's actions. At first, Isabella didn't want to tell him, fearing he might feel inadequate, but Philip was only grateful. He noticed a transformation in his daughter. Isabella no longer dreaded going to school. Her confidence soared, and she began to thrive academically and socially. Word of Tracy's kindness spread, and the media soon caught wind of the story. Tracy was hailed as a hero, but she remained humble, attributing her actions to the values instilled in her by her mother. She believed in extending kindness to those who needed it, a philosophy that had a profound impact on Isabella's life. Isabella's newfound confidence wasn't limited to her appearance. She started excelling in school, made new friends, and even began participating in extracurricular activities. Tracy's simple act of kindness had a ripple effect, touching the lives of many and demonstrating the power of compassion. Philip, 
filled with gratitude, watched as his daughter blossomed into a happy, confident young girl. He often referred to her as his princess, and now she truly looked and felt the part. The bond between Isabella and Tracy continued to grow, a testament to the enduring power of kindness and human connection. In the end, what started as a simple gesture from Tracy became a life-changing experience for Isabella and her father. It's a reminder that a small act of kindness can make a significant difference in someone's life. For Isabella, Tracy's compassion was the guiding light that helped her navigate a difficult time and emerge stronger and happier.